Hello everyone, this is Man Herman. Welcome back to my channel. This time we're we'll doing a review on another G.I. Joe Snake Eyes action figure. This is number number two, as you can see. Posted got one today, but it was delayed, so that probably won't get here until Friday. So so we'll we're gonna do a review on this one. As you notice, know, here's all the stuff in the box. This, I believe, is also. I think we are we on wave two or wave three. I three. I can't keep up because they're coming out fast as I can think about it. Here's the artwork on the side right there of the snake eyes and everything. If you look right, right there, as if you see that's Timber the Wolf. I thought we were going to get that one in this way. We didn't get it. Here's all the stats right there that you're going to see about. Right there, if you want to know, I don't know too much about the stats right there about the about the uh, about the these GI Joe figures, um, everything. So I'm gonna pause the video, be right back. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna check out what this Snake Eyes figure is all about. Be right back. All right, we're back now. I guess I got all the accessories out, and we do have a lot of accessories, so we're gonna skip. We're gonna jump straight into this video. <clears throat> One of the first accessories you get, you do get his backpack right here. Got a little bit of paint on the silver buckle right here, as you can see, right, right there and right there. Also got a little bit of paint on the sides so on the buckle, and it also got the little peg hole side thing on the back. So that's his backpack, and you also got a hole on the sides. We do have this little piece right here, and I just not get it in there. And that's you said you wonder what that is. A lot of people don't know. This is a silencer, and I'll show you how that works. And, and as we go to the review, you do get his sword, his Rocky Kazi sword. I know I just messed that up. I know I got messed up soon. I made a video. You do get one of his swords. You do get the uh, the sheath to put the sword in right there with the symbol on there. I'm not going to say it again. I already messed it, messed it up once. I'm not going to mess it up again. You do get the handgun. Also right there. Don't ask me why that hole's in the middle. I've been trying to figure out ever since I saw it coming in the packaging. You do get another knife right here. There's a lot of controversy with this knife that going in the sheath that they're supposed to go into, but we'll figure out if I was going there as we go to review. And here's another gun right there. I don't know why that hole's there. And I'm gonna show you what you can do with this stand. They do not come with the figure, but I've been using them with the, the necker stands. We'll go and we we'll get into that in a second. So here's the action figure itself, the snake eyes figure right here. You do have a little bit of paint on there, as you can see. If you look right there, you do have a little bit of paint on the top part of the visor. The um the uh the the, the hang grenades are not painted at all. You do have some texture also on the, the this part right here. Might mind more like a bulletproof type vest or like a um Armor type thing right there, you can see on this on this on on, on this chest area. His belt buckle, the top part of the belt buckle and the lower part of the belt buckle do have a little bit of paint on there also. Do have some paint also around here and here and here. Nice little sculpting also in the uh the, the, the pants legs right there. Do and you do have the knee pads right there also. You do have his uh his boots, but if you look real closely you can see where it do have like a kind of like straps going across there, like like the ninja type type boots. Do have detail also like a pocket also in on the sides, on both sides of the, of the feet. Detail also a nice little wrinkle also in the pants also here. Needs that detail also also in the uh, uh the the guards right here as you can see. You do have his trigger finger hand right there. So let's go to articulation where I still got time. Head does go that down. Nice deep down like that. Though it does go up. You have articulation in the upper top of the neck and also in the lower part of the neck where you can get to move that side forward and backwards. And it goes all the way around. You can get the arm um, to go this far up and this far down. You do have a, a slight little butterfly joint right there, as you can see. You do have where the hand go all the way in, double double elbow on hands. You do have rotation also. I'm gonna skip you in the, on elbow. You do have where the hand can go 
all the way around. If I keep it in the camera all the way around. I don't know why his hand is coming up, but it's, 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 it, you can't get the hand go all around. You do have an air crunch right here where it can go forward and backwards. And you do have another articulation here too where you can get the waist to move like this. And you do also remember in the Duke review, you do where you can, you can get the, the shift down of the legs and you can get more range of motion and go to go forward and backwards. And then all you want to do is shift it back up, just pop it back like that. And you do also have double knees and he can go all the way up on the range on his uh, knees. And you can get the, the angles to go forward and backwards and also side to side now we're going to get to how about this piece right here let's move the figure over a little bit we're going to show you how some of this stuff can work here we go back to the sound of the piece right there trying to get in the view and that sound of the piece does let me show you that does fit on the gun very easily to put it on the gun make sure i got the right piece just pop it onto there right there i'm gonna get I'm, i know i'm out of the camera you can pop it on right there or right on top on the gun, the silencer. If you want to put it on there. I'm trying to see if it had a peg hole, so that's why I took it off. Yeah, you might control a little hole in there to put a little special press piece in there, but there's the gun that's how that piece going on there. And everything. Now, when we come with the backpack, there's two ways you can do this. You can take, you have to line this piece up right here like so with the backpack this is how i'm going to do it and he can store all his pieces on his back I'm trying to line it up where it could be nice and even let me get that lined up for y'all guys it's kind of hot in my house right now but there you can line it up piece right there you can also take and put the sword on the side right here, like there. This sword goes inside here, like so, fits nice and snugly. You take this gun, let me see if it's gonna fit where I wanted to put it. Let's see if it's gonna fit. No, it's not gonna fit. Now you wanna put this, the uh the, the sounds are on there now if you look right about right here you see that little piece right there you can put the sounds right here like so that's the beauty of these figures he can hold all his accessories that's one thing i do like about it you can put the other gun right here in this holster like so as you can see and then this is the knife where everybody said they've been having, I've been seeing a lot of views that people have been having like a, a lot of planes where to put it. Let's see if it can fit in there. It's supposed to go right about right there. I'll move back a little bit and you can see that. Let's see if mine's going there. Oh, mine's going there perfectly with no problem, no issues at all. And you can put his other gun in his hand like that. About breaking it <laughs> don't break anything don't want to break your toy put it in hand like that and that's pretty much my review guys of my gi joe snake eyes figure and i'll have to line it up a little bit more carefully his bell part i actually really enjoy the figure i think this this figure is a really i think Hasbro did a, a outstanding good job making this figure here's the size comparison of both figures and to two figures right there if you want to get a good size comparison. I'm gonna put on um, his hand. Let's get him on a neutral stand. You can get a nice good size comparison. I don't have to move out a little bit. Now this hat is not um deuce hat. I got that from my um Captain America figure if you want to know where that, that hat came from. So you can move out this or tell you I have to zoom out this or, Oh, there it goes, snake eyes. He's down. You have to zoom out just a little bit so you can get that much better. Get a nice, good size comparison of the two figures. 
side by side. Now I've been using these necker stands right here if you want to use a necker stand and they've been working pretty decently. I've been, I got my Duke figure to sit on a stand. Let's see if I can get my Snake Eyes figure to fit on the stand pretty decently. Let's see. It can sit on there, no problem. I'm gonna adjust it because you do have the two peg holes at the bottom. Sorry about the sloppiness of this view, guys, but I just really just wanted to show it off anyway. I'm not a video toy viewer. I'm just a personal person who loves showing off this stuff. So, hope you enjoy my review of my G.I. Joe 6 inch scale um, Snake Eyes figure. So, everybody have a good day, good night. And I will make sure I show some pictures at the end. And you be safe out there and enjoy your collection. The Holly Man is out.